Things what? That's more ranch for y'all. This doesn't have to be hot, okay? Okay. Oh, we can't do it with batter. We don't have that. Okay. So we're just going to... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So you want seafood today, Kendra? Hey, Michelle. Oops. All right, guys. As promised, what, what, what is, I got some hand sanitizer. I got some. Woo. So as promised earlier, I told you guys, once I got checked in my room and stuff, I was gonna come and find me some crab, no, some fried um, frog legs. I got them. So here are my frog legs. I had the privilege of eating some of these last year and haven't eaten any since. And I knew this place sold them, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go get me some. And I did. I'm sorry, y'all. So, frog legs are good. They taste like chicken. <coughs> They're good. I know some people eat them in the gumbo and stuff like that. You say you opted out for wings. I guess I'll try. I'm gonna try with a little ranch. Let's see. It's good. You know how it is when you have your mindset on getting something, a certain food and every other food that you taste is not satisfying to the palate until you get what it is that you have in your mind that you really want, right? That's how it was today. Right there. They, they still look the same. Oh, they fried hard. So, what did some hold them here? So I'm also eating shrimp brochette today with the bacon wrapped around the shrimp. I think it's a little jalapeno in there.
this is good. Because I'm already eating rice. So I can't eat rice with crackers. That's why I don't eat dirty rice. I ain't number dirty rice. I don't eat it with crackers. Hey, Javante. I'm just, give me a bite to eat. What's that? Stuffed shrimp. And I have stuffed jalapeno stuffed jalapeno with shrimp a stuffed shrimp jalapeno okay let me start back on these other frog legs it is kim it's good y'all know i like to eat I ain't gonna go nowhere without getting me something to eat. I tell people, when I come speak for them and stuff like that, or MC, when they ask me what's my requirements, or what's my contract, you gonna always see some food on there. <laughs> always see some food. Like kind of like chicken, Kim. Come on, buddy, this time. Yeah, I mean they they're water, but I don't even know how to eat it. Got it because it's not got it. Yeah, just the leg, the frog leg. Just the skin. Yeah. Like like a frog, like a frog leg for real. What were you saying? No, I'm talking. I'm talking oh, to my oh, line. <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> okay, okay. But thank you. Yeah, it tastes like chicken, kind of. Yeah. You know, so look, this is the foot, this is the um, the calf part, this is the thigh part, the actual leg. Mm -hmm. And it's actually good. Yeah, I'm gonna be hopping like a frog. <laughs> Oh y'all, I could drink water all day long. Woo. This is the stuffed <clears throat> jalapeno, jalapeno. You good. You get full too, huh? <clears throat> Yeah, it does. It, it's like, it, it puts me in the mind of chicken. Not the white part of the chicken, but the dark part. What would you say frog legs taste like to you? Like chicken? Yeah, like chicken. Yeah. Like the dark part, the thigh part, or the drumstick part to it, to the chicken. Not the breast or the, not, a, not none of the uh, white meat. Ooh. Y'all see that juice coming out of here? Okay, Melissa said it does. She has some. She have some too. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. When I get off this live, this video will be in the group of B-Love, the lady that eat the seafood and stuff. So, if y'all wanna go over there and watch me in the replay, you can, and other other people too. Yes, yeah, tastes like sweet chicken to me, yeah. Renee said yes. Um, Swamp Shack. 
But like I was saying, I'm a part of the B-Love. The B-Love eating group. If y'all don't know what that is, that's a group of people that sit and eat, have mukbangs. Mukbangs is that you're just sitting and eating in front of the camera explaining what, you, what you're eating. And some people like to watch it, some people don't. So, I've been the replay over there because I put the video. I don't put all my eating, eating food videos over there, but because I forget until I get a notification. Because they'll put you out the group if you're not, if you're being inactive. Oh, y'all ain't getting full. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I didn't even want to eat all this. Yeah, Melissa, it's called Swamp Shack. Mm, that was good. This is kind of weird, but. I like to bite and chew on these and sometimes eat them. The, the fly part, flyway part, the tail part. That one not crunch enough. The B Loves group doesn't pay me, but I get monetized through Facebook and YouTube. I'm a creative content for Facebook. Well, I do creative content, put it like that. And you have to go live so many times. You have to have a certain amount of numbers on your stats. If not, you don't get paid. So, but you got that piece of fly away in my teeth. But the B Love group. She gets paid, but there's up there's some people in that group that do get paid. Some that go on that, some that um that go live like two and three times a day. They got one lady on there. She goes live in the morning time eating her breakfast. She goes live eating her lunch. She goes live whatever she cook in the evening time or whatever she stop and get something. Cause that's she worked that she really worked that group. And also I don't know if you all see Chelsea. On Facebook, she's a Caucasian girl, the big girl. She call herself Tammy. Uh, her her nickname is T Trailer Trash Tammy. Have you seen her? She did that. She went viral like last month. She went. Some of y'all may have seen it, where she went viral last month because Rod Rod had uh, a yeah. blocked her on Facebook, yeah. blocked her on her cousin. Yeah. If y'all see Rod, you tell Rod I said he could have left without kicking over my cousin's Cheerio. He broke, he broke the little figurine that my grandmother gave her. Yeah. <laughs> she gets paid to, and this is what I'm trying to lead up to doing. She gets paid to go around to Taco Bell, Kentucky Fried Chicken, any food place that comes out with new food. Okay, you've heard of her. Okay. She gets monetized from uh, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, but she also get monetized just to go and do food reviews and make them funny for uh, Taco Bell. I mean, all of them. She does all, all the food places. And all you have to do is just when you go on their page, reading their credentials, and the credentials will tell you who's sponsoring the video or who she's doing the video for. And when you see that, that's who she's getting paid by. Yeah, so it's it's you know there's there's a lot of ways to make money. The hustle game is real out here for everybody. You just have to be willing to do. It. If it's something that you can do, and I know a lot of people cannot do that. A lot of people are not savvy, uh, Facebook savvy, uh, and stuff like that. Like me, I can work my iPhone. I mean, I can work it, but a regular computer, I just go to it and do what I'm asked to do on it do my work click on the links and get off I'm not computer savvy at all but I am iPhone savvy so to answer your question Kim yeah she gets paid to and like I said that's what I'm trying to lead up to doing um uh -uh. 
uh, Facebook just sent me out a notification um, about being on what's called their black creative content team. Now, I don't want to make it no black thing or no white thing because I'm just, I'm already, I do, I already do creative content with Facebook and get paid for it. So I don't want it to. And I did the, I did that sign up, you know, for the research thing. How does that work? Oh, okay. So it takes like 24 hours for it to be in the system. So I can make one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once you go box? Yeah, I can throw mine on there too. Okay. So again, here is, I'm so full, but I'm going to eat this other crab leg. But anyway, a crab leg. Uh, uh, frog legs, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the frog. This is his foot. Oh! <laughs> that was a real problem. <laughs> so this is the foot. Oh, he had a little foot. And this is his leg. This is his thigh part. So, um, yeah, Kim, if you're interested in doing it, just put out a whole lot of content. It could be from pictures to videos. And make sure your video numbers are up. And um, go to your community guidelines and stuff like that. And where you can inbox Facebook and tell them that you're interested in getting monetized for the content that you put out. Hey, Myron, you say you haven't had those in a minute. And what they do, they they check out your page and check out your your followers and check out the things that you do. And if they feel that you can that you can benefit from, if they feel that you can be a part of the creative content team, they'll definitely start monetizing for your videos. Now, here's the thing. You do workout videos. Okay, but how often do you do them? When, when I say you have to put a lot of content out, a lot of content. They look in your story. Um, you can't put out like one video every two days. It has to be like sometimes, like today, this is what my third video, I think. Third or fourth video that I've done today. Because I know that I have to put out more content and if they have to email you and tell you that you haven't put out enough content that's not good because that's not what that's not what they want to do somebody else that gets monetized from facebook and instagram and youtube y'all know tim bay tim bay sits up people like watching different things people like watching him smoke weed and get high on, on live he get paid to do that why because let me tell you why because he have anywhere Every time he goes live, anywhere from a thousand, he is hilarious. Anywhere from a thousand on up, viewers watch him. So what does that mean? Because he's going live, people love his content. They like his content. It could be two or three o'clock in the morning. They're gonna come on because why they have him on that notification evidently, and they're gonna watch it. So that's bringing more viewers and more people on Facebook watching him. So that's this is how Facebook is rolling in more viewers when you had when you do videos and have a lot of viewers on and stuff like that that's what they want they want you know people that have a lot a lot of video um viewers and the way that you can build it up is just start going live like every day every day doing whatever you do you say you do workout videos you can also um show people how you prep your meals Go live showing them how you prep your meals. Um, after you work out, when you get home, show them how you what you do in your wind down time when you get home. If you're tired, if you just take a shower and sit down and chill out after you do that, do a video saying, "Hey, you know, I did my I did I went live with you guys today, doing my workout. Now I'm at home winding down. What are you all doing tonight? You know, you start engaging and having conversations with your people back and forth. And here's another thing that I try to do. I try and acknowledge people that's on here if i can see it sometimes my screen is the thing is going up too fast i can't see nobody i mean i can't see everybody and then people say I, I was saying hi to you or i was saying something to you and you didn't say nothing back I don't, and i'd be feeling bad because i feel like if you took the time out to stop by my channel to watch me i should take the channel to give you a shout out what So that's for anybody on here that's want, that's wanting to be monetized. Oh, and on YouTube, 
you can have you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers in order to get YouTube on, uh, in order to get monetized on YouTube. Y'all remember when I was coming to y'all a couple of months ago, pretty much begging everybody to follow me on YouTube, subscribe to me. This is why, because I can now go live on YouTube. I can now post uh, posts on YouTube, like we post on uh, Facebook. I'm in that category now to where I can post. Um, I can chat back and forth with my people when I go live on Instagram and stuff like that. So, yeah. Or well, if you have kids at home, grandkids and stuff, make content out of that. You can make content out of anything. Making content only means that you're just putting stuff out there that's going on that, that you face on a daily basis. You could be passing by two people fight. <laughs> yeah. Hear him take your camera out and start a video. Have you seen Reban Patona? Patona? Uh-uh. Who's Reban Patona? Patonia. Patonia. They ask for money all the time. No. People are not supposed Well. I know they're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. No. I don't know. Pull, pull, pull these names up on your phone. I'm gonna look them up right quick. You said the gay guys, Reba and Petunia, on Facebook. Do you follow them, Reba and Petunia? Wait, I'm gonna look them up right quick. I'm gonna look at their face. Mm-hmm. R E B A. She said he's live now. Okay, let me see. You have some people that come on in and beg for money. Is this them? Cause mine gonna say Auntie Reba and Tunya gonna say Petunia versus Reba. They wanna know why I say that girl. Okay. I guess y'all can find it better. I mean, you have people that come on in and ask for money because Katrisa Johnson, a girl I follow. She has become viral because <clears throat> she do a lot of stupid stuff, crazy stuff, which is funny. She just sit and watch the she just sit and watch her viewers and be reading as they say stuff. And she's become famous for that. They fly her over everywhere, letting her do like little club things, hosting stuff like that. But I mean, I I, I wouldn't do it. And. If they get monetized by Facebook, I don't know if that's something they're supposed to be doing or not. I'm not sure. But, you know, the only time I come on and ask for money is if we are doing something through my organization. Try, like, that, like this past week, I was asking people to help donate water and things or whatever they could to the uh, hurricane victims that we were helping over in uh, Louisiana. That's pretty much the most you're gonna catch me coming on asking for stuff. <coughs> so I still have three shrimp brochettes left. <laughs> All them fried pickles. So, so guys again, this video will be over. Uh if y'all look if y'all like watching um food videos and people just sit and eat food. Like, again, like I said, some people like watching that stuff, some people don't. Like, I know somebody who likes sitting up watching animals do it. And I'm like, you like to watch that, but whatever floats your boat, honey. I know people that like, sit, I mean, I know people that like going to videos watching mothers breastfeed they, they, uh, babies. They get a kick out of watching that. So, it's going to be over in uh, Be Loves group all right if y'all haven't joined b loves group join her group it's some really fantastic people over there very very nice people there's a lot of recipes over there there's a lot of chefs and um you know people that show you how to prep and prepare food and things like that you they have one lady over there that 
fix this food and show you how to keep um how to not make food with in high sodium it's it's everything you said what what was you talking about eating you talking about a lot of eating i'm a savage what classic classic bougie ratchet oh my back i popped my back <laughs> all right guys love you i'm out